One in 100,000 people suffer from Holt Oram syndrome. It affects the upper limbs and the heart. Due to this, almost 40% of patients need to get pacemakers. Unfortunately, I am part of this statistic. I am about to show you a video diary of the surgical process and my recovery. So, my operation is tomorrow. Um, it came around a bit, a bit too quickly, I think. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm kind of scared to know it's the whole concept of being awake as it's happening, I think, that's um, putting me off the idea. But, hey, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I think in the long run it's going to be worth it. But right now, the only thing I can think about is getting over, t getting through tomorrow. Uh, I just got back from my last run before I had the pacemaker tomorrow. It was harder than I last remember, probably because I haven't been in like a month. Um, but it'll be interesting to see the difference between running with a pacemaker and without a pacemaker. Because right now I can manage the first mile without a problem and then... After that, I'm struggling. Okay, so I just woke up. Um, today is the day that I get the pacemaker, so it's a bit surreal. It is currently half past six. Um, I have to leave at half past seven. Um, I'm not allowed any food, and I'm really hungry. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how today goes. And, um, well, I'll talk to you later. Um, so I just got out of surgery. Um, there were minor complications, but I'm fine. Painkillers were taking care of that. Um, it should have taken about an hour to an hour and a half. Mine took about two hours to two hours and a half. So, um... You know, it can, it can vary within different people. But now I I have it. I, I feel okay. I have a bit of pain in my left shoulder where they've, where they've put it, the incision. And um, it's a bit hard to move everything. <laughs> but um, it's it's going well. And I think it, from, from by the sounds of it and by the look of my ECG and everything, it's, it's going to be better. So it's been two days since my operation um i feel pretty good to be fair um it's very sore like here down to here and then across i'm, I'm doing well in recovery i went out yesterday um i went out for a just just a short walk down by the river so that's good the incision is there, as you can see I've still got the bandage on. I'm getting my stitches out on Wednesday, I believe, the day before Christmas. Yay! Right, so it's officially been a week. Um, it's Christmas Eve today. I feel great. Um, I had my stitches out today, so that's really good. And it's, it's I don't know if you can, if you can properly see it, but it's healed up quite nicely i mean i've got quite a lot of bruising here um, and it's still quite sticky from the bandage and swollen as well um, all around kind of this area and I, i'm on my way to my first pacemaker clinic it's quite exciting it's mother daughter bonding time because we're both heading to back-to-back -back pacemaker clinic appointments it's a it's a new experience but um, yeah, so hopefully it all goes well and my pacemaker's actually working. And I finally finished my first 5k run since the operation. I'm not going to lie to you, I am so proud of myself right now. Didn't, wasn't as uh, quick as some of my previous runs, but you know, what can you do? It's been almost two months since I even uh, run before my operation so but uh, just a couple of things for you guys to look out for you know for after your operation 
and um, putting things like your sports bra on and bras on, especially if they're quite tight. Sometimes you can catch the pacemaker if you're like, if you're like me and it's kind of like on, on more the outside um, rather than like deeper implanted. But I mean, it depends completely on the type of pacemaker you have, where they fitted it, how many times you've had it before. So it changes for everybody. One other thing is that you can feel the electrical current sometimes. Please do not be alarmed. Like it's totally normal. Um, I freaked out the first time I felt it. But my mum told me that it was, you know, she has it as well. So again, it varies from person to person. But yeah, I wish you all the best. And um, thank you so much for watching. For more information on stuff like this, pacemakers, Holtorum, the way it affects, you know, hands, hearts, genetics, everything, please visit holtorumandyou.co.uk.